Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to remove and replace uh, the outside driver's door handle on this 2000 Lincoln Town Car, pretty much the same as the uh, the other side, uh, also the same as most of this generation town car. Tools you'll need are a um, Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a 11 millimeter socket with a ratchet and a long extension. Uh, door panel removal. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, on this vehicle, this door panel has been taken apart a bunch of times, so uh, some of the fasteners may be different for you. Uh, as well as, for example, it has a screw here, which I believe most cars probably don't. Um, the reason it has a screw here, I believe, is because so many of the uh, pins in behind that hold it um, are broken. Uh, but what you want to start is remove your door lock knob just by unscrewing it. Okay. Then in under here should be two, on this vehicle, they're Phillips screws. Just kind of put your screwdriver up under there. Now there's another Phillips screw up in here. Okay, and this pulls out. And then right in here you'll see uh, there's another Phillips screw that goes into the door panel. Okay, and as you can tell I've been fast forwarding when I just get to the uh, monotonous stuff. So you remove that screw and then there's another screw uh, next to the rear side of the pole. Okay, then at the bottom there's two more Phillips screws. Uh, it's kind of a little indent in the carpet. Just put your screwdriver in there twist it a little bit and you'll get to the screw okay. this car has a little torque screw here I'm not sure if this is supposed to be there or not I'll remove it this may not be on all cars okay. and then there is another screw here uh, but this is broken on my car, so I know there's no screw in there. Um, and then what there is, is there's a series of clips. So you would want to work your hand underneath here, and there's one clip right here, and get your hand as close to those. You'll, you can slide your hand underneath, and you slide it over, and you feel it getting tighter and tighter. Okay, and then you give a good pull, and get that clip out, and then... Come up here on the top. Okay, give a good pull. Put another clip there. And then on these vehicles, there's more clips. There's clips in the middle uh, and more on the edge. Um, but like I said, this vehicle has been a part a few times. Okay, and actually, before you pull the door panel off, you want to pull your window switch up in the front and then pull it out. And then there's a series of harnesses that just have little tabs. You press the tab. Pull the harness down, okay, this gray one, tab, pull it down, tab here on the black one, and then tab here for the brown one. Okay, I'll pull the panel away, and there's a few more harness connections back here. A couple of small harnesses with a black and white connector. Okay, press the little button here, pull that apart. It's a blue connector here that has a tab on it that you, you pull the wires of the blue connector, pull the tab out. It's hard to see. It's 
Okay, and then there's a gray connector here. Okay, again, big tab. Pulling apart. Oops. Looks like the screw's not quite all the way out, so. is off. Okay, you're going to remove two 11 millimeter nuts that hold the handle in. One there and one you can access through this hole here. So it's right there. Okay, you want an 11 millimeter socket with a long extension and a ratchet. Okay, so we'll fast forward here through uh, just removing those two nuts. Uh, the angle I shot it at, you can't see anything anyways, but that's all I'm doing is using my ratchet extension and socket to remove those fasteners. Now what you do is pull the handle up and you need to pull the back and the front out a certain amount and then pull forward as you continue to pull out. Okay, and then the handle gets to a certain point, comes out. You can pull it up like that to pull that lock rod off and then your handle rod, you need to twist the handle up like this and just make sure that this clip comes with it. Okay, kind of twist it back and forth and then up and off. Okay, and there's your handle off. Um, and to reinstall, now one important thing is if this um, flange around in your door is, is um, damaged at all, it'll make it hard to get your handle in and out. You may be able to see that this is bent out a little bit here. That's because when I first took this apart, I found that somehow that had gotten bent in and it was making it very hard for me to get my uh, handle in and out. So now it's bent back, it's pretty much bent back to where it should be. But if this is damaged or anything around here, it can cause problems to get your handle back in. Okay, so to reinstall the handle, put dip the back down. And actually, the other thing is when you go to put a new handle on, you'll want to change over your lock cylinder, which is pretty easy. There's a big clip right here. Pull that clip out. Okay. Pull the lock cylinder out. Put it into the new handle. And then put the clip back on. Okay, now to put the handle back on, dip the lock side down, put it onto um, the latch rod. Okay, then your lock rod just locks right in like that. Okay, there's uh, uh, this top part goes into that slot. Okay, and then there's a bottom part that you have to make sure is inside the door. And then you can slide it back to a certain point. Then you want to push your lock in, and then your handle's in. Now we'll take our 11 millimeter nuts and start them by hand very carefully first. This one's really easier. Just put the nut right into your socket. Watch it right in. Onto the stud. Hold the, hold the handle while you start the nut. And then once it's started. And once it's started, then we can fast forward a little bit. Um, I'll tighten up those by hand, and then I'll get my ratchet out. And you want to tighten those nuts up nice and firm. They don't have to be extremely tight. You just want to make sure they're good enough to uh, hold the handle on. And then just check the lock and uh, handle rods. Okay. Make sure your door is unlocked. There we go. 
And now we're just going to fast forward through putting the door panel back on. Uh, if you want to see this in regular speed, um, just check out our other videos for the Lincoln Town Car door panel um, replacement. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.